hi guys so in this video we're gonna see how can we use theme context fully for uh, changing our uh, screen to dark mode or light mode now first of all what i'm going to create a template you can say a const themes template such that it will have all the properties that we need in here so let's see for light what we need for light i'm just going to give the background okay so i'm just going to give the background as hashtag f a f a f a okay i don't know what this color is so let's see what it is now in here i'm just going to give this brown now for dark now for dark i'm just going to give the background background to black and color to uh, white or yeah yeah that doesn't matter okay now that's what we need in here now in here what i'm going to create a state in here okay i'm just going to create a state in here nothing more so first of all there is a state and inside this theme properties i'm just going to give this themes dot light okay now what i'm going to do i'm just going to provide the state in here okay so, so simply this dot state nothing more now there is some error that i can see in here okay yeah i got the error what we, uh, what i have so it's in here actually the value is wrong in here actually that we got a object right so it doesn't give yeah that's it now go to your learn context in here so what we're trying to achieve in here i'm just going to style it here okay so just styling that what we need in here so in here i'm just going to give this dot state dot theme that is perfect there's no nothing wrong with that okay do the color change that we i cannot get what it is yeah all right now now i can see what it is yeah so just uh, now these values we want to see in our button and also in our button too and as you can see in our console that we got this theme object in here right and if you just open it you can see background color now what i'm going to do in here is just getting data in here of course so just styling is dot context dot theme that's what we need in here so one value is done so the same thing you can do for this style value dot theme but this is not what we want to get of course we want to achieve the toggling part right so for achieving that what we need like we have to dispatch some action from here right when we dispatch some action okay we when we dispatch some action it will change the values or it will change this uh, uh, theme theme start dark now first of all in here i'm just going to a baby step like uh, i'm just going to create the one button in here and the button that i'm going to create is button and giving it change style but we are going to modify it in the later point of time but uh, for now let's see it here and when you click on this on click will handle the theme okay so for now i'm just going to give this dot handle theme because we have created a class component in here 
that's why now what we can do just open this handle theme okay now next what we can do is just create the theme of course cons theme if this dot state dot theme is equal to themes dot dark sorry themes dot light we can just change this to themes dot dark else we can simply use themes dot light okay what that's what we need in here now next what we can do just setting the state of course this dot set and theme that's what we need in here now let's test it now yeah let's see yeah we got this toggling form that what we need in here but uh, there is one more thing that i'm going to show is that we can actually the uh, we didn't ne need to like just pass the data we can actually pass the function inside this value actually so it's like when you click on this button.js or button2.js you can actually trigger the action for changing the background now to achieve this what we can do i'm just going to change this context file because right now it's not this only this actually this is more like uh, an object right so the first thing that i'm going to provide is actually theme which is first of all it is light and uh, second of all that is a function that we are going to going to create in here and let's say the name of it is toggle theme so i'm just going to give a default just empty function in here okay now what we need in here just go to your learn context.js and just remove this handle theme in here and just uh, give it to the top and in here you can just again with the same name toggle theme this dot handle theme that's what we need in here actually so i'm just going to comment out this line now go to your button.js now we have this this dot context dot theme so actually i'm going to destructure these things so the first of all theme and second of all toggle theme and from where we get this dot context actually okay sorry i have to achieve this part inside this here so in here we just we need this theme and inside this on click we can give toggle theme let's see that we got it or not uh, this is the click okay this is the right one yeah so we can do the same thing now go to your button to dodges now actually this value is an object right so we can do the same thing in here but uh, i'm going to this structure in here all actually so what i'm going to i'm just going to remove this theme and toggle theme so we can see what inside it 
and we are going to remove this theme and on click toggle now let's see that we got it or not we got it yeah as you can see that we can toggle it using both the button now in the next video we are going i'm going to implement of course <laughs> that uh, uh, how can we like uh, create multiple provider or multiple context and how can we consume it in our functions function actually because in class it doesn't support actually the multiple consumer so how can we achieve in this theme context or, or actually in this function button too and yeah i'm going to also introduce a new hook that is use context yeah so stay tuned for the next video